ton of great fights have been announced for the UFC recently, spanning for a couple fight nights, and from UFC 284 all the way to UFC 287. And I'm here to break down some of the key fights that have been announced, some of the bigger ones, nicer matchups. I'll pop up a bunch here on the screen right now, so you can see just everybody that I'm going to be talking about today. I'm not going to be talking about everybody that's up here on the screen, but you can see in the timestamps who I will be going in depth on which matchups because some of them excite me more than others. And I'm sure that's the same case for some of you, but some of them I still just need to have here so everybody can see. I'll let you get a good look at this and then we can move on to the first fight that I wanna talk about going chronologically. We'll start with UFC 284. Justin Toffa versus Parker Porter was recently announced. Not much to say on this. Justin Toffa is reincarnation of my big Samoan boy, Mark Hunt. So I gotta ride with him every time. And not to mention, Parker Porter is a super 50-50 fighter. I like Parker Porter, but dude needs to trim down some of that fat. Like, it's just holding you back, bro. Same with Toffa low-key, but, like, Samoans are just kind of built like that, so I can't even get on him. And Toffa, you need to win this one, bro, because you're going to end up like Parker Porter in this division if you don't knock this motherfucker out. Straight up. Moving on. Fight night in April. Bobby Green versus Jared Gordon. Jared Gordon coming off of a win. A lot of wins, actually, now. Bobby Green coming off of a devastating knockout. Maybe Jared Gordon can build up on his momentum of taking out Patty Pimblett in a really fucking boring decision. Maybe he can add some more power into his punches and really start to crack down on that withered chin of Bobby. But man, I just feel like this is a tough matchup for Jared Gordon. Bobby Green's quick. I don't know why he's getting back in there that quickly. I mean, I guess it's April, so it's not that quickly. It's still three months away. But, like, I feel like you should even take a little bit more time when you get slept like that by Giga Chad Dober. But you know what, man? Yeah, I don't know. It's tough for Gordon. Like, I, I fuck with him, but I fuck with Bobby Green more. And I fuck with his style more. And on top of that, if I didn't like either of them, and I thought they both sucked, I would still lean with Bobby Green based on his speed, his style, his ability to actually put some power into his punches more often than gordon does like you're landing those hooks on patty all day and you can't even like do some type of damage that his last two opponents had done prior to the monkey king i don't know i don't rate it moving on though to another fight night and i guess it's not in chronological order because i'm just gonna get these fight nights out of the way chaos williams is making his return against rolando bedoya a newcomer not much to say on it this guy seems good but it's fucking Chaos Williams. Dude's gonna get slept. It is what it is. Moving on. UFC 285. Jalen Turner versus Dan Hooker. This was recently announced. I like Dan Hooker, bro. But what are you doing? Jalen Turner? Who's on a roll? Just took out your boy? I mean, that's why, actually. That's why. I take it back. I fuck with that, Dan. Dan does not get a break, bro. He fights the best of the best. But Jalen Turner makes Dan Hooker look small in this division. He's on a roll. Power in his hands. Dan Hooker sticks his neck out a lot. Jalen Turner's good at wrapping that shit up with the guillotine. Just a lot of signs that make me nervous, man. And I really like Dan Hooker. He has that dog. But ever since the Poirier fight, like I feel like part of his soul's been gone. It's been reaped. And I don't know. I just... I got, right now, I'm picking Jalen Turner. It might change when my UFC 285 video comes out, when we get to that point. But right now, Jalen Turner. I'm going with the tarantula. Moving on, I'm, I'm just going to quickly brush over this one. Juliana Miller versus Veronica Maceda. The, the tough 30 winner in Juliana Miller. I'm going to go with her by a decision. Maybe a finish. I don't know. She, she's actually she's pretty good for a, a female bantamweight. And you don't see that much talent in that division. So... Fuck it, I'll go with her. Moving on, up the card. UFC 286, Jack Shore. This is interesting. Versus Mach 1 Amir Khani at Featherweight. Jack Shore is making his Featherweight debut. Coming off of his loss to Ricky Simone. Dominant loss. He just basically got bullied. Uh, showed who the top G in Bantamweight was in the, in the lower ranks. But man, Jack Schwartz still has all of the talent, all of the skills necessary to become a top threat at featherweight. If he packs on weight correctly and comes into, into this division correct, I can't see how he would lose to Mac one Mac one has a lot of talent, but like after the first round and maybe even like the first couple minutes of the first round, he ain't got shit. He ain't got shit on Jack Schwartz. So I'm going with Jack Schwartz 
probably by a third round TKO, maybe a second round. I don't even know. But yeah, moving on to the last two, the biggest fights. One for UFC 287, actually both for UFC 287. And it's cool because Aljo versus Cejudo was just announced recently as in the works for UFC 287. I don't know if it'd be the main event, but I would think so because it's Cejudo returning. Maybe not though, I don't know. But yeah, that's just been recently announced. So a lot of good fights for that card. It's looking up. But first, I'll start with Raul Rosas Jr. He's got his second fight, his sophomore attempt in the UFC versus Christian Rodriguez. I'm going with Raul Rosas. Maybe I'm dick riding. Maybe I'm on the train right now. I don't know. But this kid just seems like he's that next generation of, of an MMA fighter. And I'm fucking with it. I'm rolling with it. Plus, he's a little bit younger than me. He's part of my generation. I gotta, I just gotta roll with him. So I'm going with Raul Rosas Jr. by a submission. And then, the biggest fight that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video, Kelvin Gastelum versus Chris Curtis was, re was recently announced for UFC 287. I really like Kelvin, man. I really like Chris Curtis, which is because he's always trying to fight everybody, stepping up, short notice, all that. And he gets it done for the most part. Except for when he lost me fucking money against Jack or Manson, but... I'll forget about that for now. Early pick, I've got Chris Curtis. If Kelvin really comes correct and he's he's mentally there, physically there, nothing abstracting what he needs to do, getting the job done, and making himself a contender again, then, which is a lot of things that need to go in his way, then Chris Curtis is going to flatline him. He's just been in too many wars. He's fought the best of the best. He's been through injuries. All the weight cuts. I mean, actually, fuck. I take that back. No weight cuts. He's a fat boy. Fat Mexican boy. You need to go back to welterweight, dude. Maybe then you could be a top contender again. But after the Izzy fight, he's just been so up and down. I don't know, man. Something happened to him mentally, I feel like. Because physically, clearly nothing has changed. Like, if he can make it all the way to where he did with that fat tubbo body. Being a little sporadic Mexican fuck then he could do it again with his body currently. It's something mental, I feel like. But shit, I could be wrong. I'm not him. But early pick, Chris Curtis. I would not mind to be wrong, though. I would not mind for Kelvin to prove me wrong and make his return back to this division, man. But yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I felt like this video would be a cool video to do because it's just a bunch of fights into one. I haven't really seen anybody doing that recently. Most of the YouTubers I watch, they cover them the minute they come out one video pretty much just one or two fights that's it i'm just gonna give you guys all of what's been announced from like today through to like the last week and more maybe coming out as this is getting uploaded if so i'll probably make some shorts for them but yeah thank you guys i love you guys i'll catch y'all